treatment options for hemifacial spasm are really limited. And medications are unfortunately ineffective. Uh, you can use botulinum toxin uh, or Botox uh, as, it's, uh, as it's called. And, um, and that can be a partially effective treatment for hemifacial spasm. But over time, um, over time patients experience a di diminishing efficacy with Botox. And uh, some patients don't like the way Botox um, uh, makes their face look. Uh, once you've either exhausted the treatment of Botox or you've determined, I don't want to do Botox, uh, microvascular decompression is the only operative treatment for hemifacial spasm. A microvascular decompression of the facial nerve uh, works by uh, relieving the blood vessel or vessels that's compressing the facial nerve and we make a small incision behind the ear. Uh, we remove a small piece of the bone, uh, usually about uh, 2 by 1.5 uh, centimeters, uh, and then we open the lining over the, the back part of the brain, which is called the cerebellum, uh, and, and make our way uh, uh, without any trauma uh, to the brain stem where the facial nerve exits the brain stem. Now the brain stem is between the brain and spinal cord. Uh, and then we look for the root of the facial nerve. And uh, the root of the facial nerve is where the compression exists. Uh, and that's where we look to move the artery uh, or arteries and sometimes in rare cases a vein uh, and interpose a Teflon pledget which acts as a cushion or shock absorber if you will and relieves that pressure on the facial nerve. Uh, in my experience of uh, performing uh, more than 200 microvascular decompressions for hemifacial spasm, um, the, uh, the success is quite high. Now, we can't fix everyone with hemifacial spasm, um, but in my extensive follow-up um, of, of more than 200 patients with this condition, 91% um, of patients have become spasm-free. Another 4 to 5% of patients have partial relief of their spasm. We have put a lot of effort into developing a dedicated team uh, for patients with hemifacial spasm and other cranial nerve disorders. This is what we do and uh, we're very interested in the patients. We have a tremendous amount of experience with, the under, with, this, with this condition uh, and we understand this condition about as well as anybody who doesn't have the condition can understand it. Patients tell me that it's a great feeling when the spasms are relieved after the operation. Um, and for me it's been a, one of the the greatest professional joy is to keep in touch with patients with this disorder um, because it's, uh, you know, they're just so happy uh, to have their spasms behind them. Mm -hmm.